Am I making sense to you? So I would that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospereth. Here it is. Now that's the key though. He says, this prosperity is linked to what? Your soul. It's linked to you growing in your mind, your will, your emotions. It's linked to you growing in the word of God. God help me, help me. So if you're coming here and the word is not taking root, then you're not what? You're not growing. And so we have a lot of churches, they have a worship service, they, they have a concert, and they, they play good music, but they're not getting any good what? Any good word. They're getting good catchphrases. And all that sounds good. Uh, come on now. And, uh, it's okay to have a little dessert with your main course. It's, it's all good, but you can't survive off of dessert only. Come on now. You do need protein. You do. You need complex co proteins. I mean, come on. You need complete proteins. You need complex carbohydrates. You, you can't just live off of simple sugars. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. I, I understand you don't necessarily need, need what we would think is meat, but I need you to understand oftentimes in Scripture when they were saying meat, they were just saying animal meat. <laughs> help me, Holy Ghost. And so now that's why it's important now that we shift the way we thinking and stop coming out of complacency. Stop coming just to come. But you got to come with the mindset of I got to get something that will cause my soul to prosper. That will cause my soul to increase. That will that cause my soul uh, 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 to have success. God, God help me Holy Ghost. Uh, that will cause my soul to succeed in his business affairs uh, God help me Holy Ghost so that when I get in that place and my soul prospers then I can go out there and my business can prosper my health God help me Holy Ghost he says this now verse 3 says for I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee even as thou walkest in the truth well, help me to understand then. What truth are they walking in? Come on Spiritual truth. They're walking in what? The word. I, can I say it this way? I, I, I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the word that is in you. Come on, come on. <laughs> Even as thou walk in what? The word. They saw it. Oh, God, help me, Holy Ghost. So they came back and testified. Yeah. Man, it's grace and truth. They walk in, in the word. But look here. They know that word. Come on, no, no, no. No, no, no. Not just they know it and quote scriptures. No, they know it in the, in the sense of they're intimate with it. God, help me. God, help. They have real relationship with it. As a man knoweth his wife. God, help me. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And, and whomsoever the truth, the Son sets free, is free indeed. Come on now. The reason we're still bound is because we have not had this relationship with the Word, with the truth. And I can't keep, I can't keep giving it to you. And then you're rejecting it. You say, well, what do you mean, pastor? I'm not listening. Your plate's still full. Why? Because if your plate was empty when you ate it all, that means I won't see it on your plate. I'll see it in you. But if I ain't seeing it in you, it must be what? Still on the plate. God help me, Holy Ghost. And after a while, I can't put nothing on the plate. You say, well, pastor, throw it away because it's going. No, the word will never spoil. The word will never spoil. 
it ain't going nowhere but your plate is just getting full now how don't know about you but how many you know can you can let me say it this way how many you've been so hungry that you put too much food on your plate and they say you were eating with your eyes and then how many of you you got so much on your plate when you looked at it you said this too much and all of a sudden your appetite start going because you just feel like you just what you got to man they gave me too much I can't I can't eat all this and, and so all of a sudden now that's where we are you're looking at your plate and you're saying man I can't eat all this this because I done gave you too much word and you haven't been eating through what I've been God help me Holy Ghost I'm in the word of God I'm giving you what thus saith the Lord Brother, Brother Devontae, did I tell you you were going to be promoted before you were promoted? Did it come to pass? As a matter of fact, when you, when you got your first shift, I told you this was going to happen. And, and, and when this happened, they're going to move you, but they ain't going to give you the title. But don't worry about it. It's what? It's, did I not tell you that? Oh, God. All I'm saying is this, is the word I'm giving you is coming from the throne room now. Uh, I, it's coming to pass. God is speaking, but he's saying you're not doing anything with what he's, he's speaking. Javika, you got to stop looking for everybody else and just keep looking at him. He's going to provide. And he said... Listen, ever since you started this journey, have you ever missed a meal? Ever since you started this journey, have you, have you ever missed your mortgage? Every God, help me, Holy Ghost. I need you to understand. If he kept you then, he said, I'm going to keep you now. Just keep looking to the hills from which cometh your help, because your help comes not from man, but from the Lord. He said, I got you during this season. You got to, he says, you got to give your daughter a break. You got to quit treating her like she's still 10. Come on now. He says, give her a break and allow her to grow. Just because you made mistakes, you got to give her the opportunity to live and make the same mistakes. Come on now. Uh, Hallelujah. This is a season when God is saying, I want to separate you from everybody else. God help. Brother Kirk, God says, I'm going to separate you from your pack. God help me, Holy Ghost. He said, there's some people around you, God help me, and they still speaking to you, some of them, and they want to be, but God says, I'm about to elevate you even above them. He's going to show them that they're not on your level. God help me, Holy Ghost. There's a shift coming. Oh. There's a shift coming. God said, now uh, uh, we, we're off the ground. We, we got movement. Uh -huh. And it took all the energy that just to get us here. He says, but Sister Vicky, there's more. There's more. So don't get complacent with what you have. Don't, don't get complacent with where you are because there's what? More. There, there's enough. I would that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. I want to make it. I want to use you as an example. I ain't telling you what I think. I'm telling you what I know. Brother Devante, I can tell you right now, if the person hadn't got there, they're on the way. You mean, what do you mean? Management is sending somebody, if they're not already there, uh -huh, to work under you. But they're just trying to see what you're doing. <laughs> they're just trying to see what you're doing. <laughs> Why is it working for him? Because they want to try to recreate it, but, but you can't recreate it if you don't have the blessing. That's, that's how God is going to what? Make a difference. 
because they're going to try to do the same thing. You, watch me. In about six months, they're going to come to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if they don't already have a position, they're going to create it. They're going to have you training GMs. Ah, <laughs> uh, help me, Holy Ghost. <laughs> but understand now, really what you're doing now, you're not training, you're pastoring. Because as you train them, the same anointing that's on you. See, see, that's the thing, Brother Kirk. And, and, and you got to stand. When you are attached to the ministry, when you are truly connected to the ministry, then, then you have expectation that the same anointing that's on the head. Oh, man, I got I to gotta get ready to stop. That's... And so here it is now, here it is now. He says, now, I rejoice greatly uh, when the brethren testify of the truth of the word that's in you, even as thou what walk in the word or walk in what the truth. Verse 4 says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. I need y'all to get this. Even as the, John is saying this, but I need you to hear this from Father. God help me. Father is saying there's no greater joy than people to testify that his children are walking in the truth. To, to hear that his children are walking in his word. For, to hear that his children are holding on and speaking the word for, for the power of death and life are in the tongue. God help me. And those that love it will live thereby. And so here it is now. He says, now, that's why I gave you an example. I made them an example of what not to do. But now you have an example. See, what do you mean? Uh -huh. Ephesians, the fifth chapter. Ephesians, the fifth chapter, and let's go straight to verse, uh, well, verse one. When you have it, say amen. Ephesians, the fifth chapter, verse one says, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Now, <clears throat> again, I always tell you, oftentimes, you can't just look at the words that are there, but you got to now go sometimes and see what these words mean. Right now, let me say this to you. You got to understand that in the word of God, you have. OK, you know how I tell you, you have the gospel of Christ and then the gospel that Christ preached. Right. So. So. The gospel that Christ taught in the temples was unfolding the prophecies of the Old Testament about him. Outside the temple, when he wasn't teaching, he was preaching, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. You got that, right? The same way in that sense, you have to understand in the Bible. Now, now don't, don't let these words scare you. In the Bible, you have words that have been transliterated, right? Transliterated. And then you have words that have been translated. Okay? Now, what does that mean? Transliterated basically means it's been put in letters for you to be able to read it. Has nothing to do with what it means. So if I was to go in Russian, because if you ever seen Russian writing, yeah, you, you can't just look at it and say that's an A, that's a B. You, no, no, you can't. 
So if I was to look at something and I'm like, I don't know what this is. So now they were transliterated. And so when I say good day or, you know, whatever, I'm looking at, I don't know what this means. So then they'll put it in language that I could read and you'll see Gugenta. Right? Now, so now I can see and I can read Gugenta. However, when I look at it in their writing, I have no idea what that is. Now, just because I see the word Gugenta, I have no idea what it means. I just can read it now. I can sound it out. But I still have no idea what it means until someone what? Translates it for me. God help me, Holy Ghost. So I need you to understand there sometimes there are words that, are, that have been transliterated into our language, but it doesn't mean what you think it means. All right? It doesn't mean what you think it means. It is put in words that I can read. And so sometimes when you look at it, you, you say, okay, when they put it in our language, they should have translated it using a different word. So I'm saying all that to say, glory to God. When I look at this now, and he says, be ye followers, uh, 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 be, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. That word followers there is actually means to imitate. It means imitator. It doesn't mean get in the line and go where he goes. No, it means do what he does. That's what it means to imitate, to mimic. That's, that's, the word, that's the word that it comes from, to mimic. So whatever he says, you say it. Whatever he does, you do it. God, help, help, help. Can, can, I, can I show you that? In scripture, here it is. John the fifth chapter, uh, uh, verse 17 says, But Jesus answered him and said, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Wait a minute, my father worketh hitherto, and I work. Verse 18, let me just keep going. He says, therefore the Jews sought to kill him, sought, sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but he also, but, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal to God. I'm, I'm just, we go, we'll deal with that later on. Uh, but yeah, yeah. He says, now, verse 19 says, then answered Jesus and said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the son likewise. He says, I can't do anything except what I see what? The father do. So whatever the father do, I just imitate it. Oh, God, help me. Help me. Oh. Hell, God, help me. Well, whatever the father says, I just say it. Whatever he does, I just do it. Because that's all I do. I, I'm doing what I'm mimicking him. And so uh, the apostle Paul, he, he took it a little further now. The apostle Paul says this. He says, he says uh, in 1 Corinthians 11, uh, uh, verse, uh, verse 1, he says now, he says, be ye followers of me. Even as I also am of Christ. Oh God, what is that? What is he saying? He says, be ye imitators of me, even as I imitate Christ. He says, so I'm imitating Christ, so that way you can imitate me. And really, if you imitating me, you imitating Christ. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you imitating Christ, you imitating the Father. God help me, Holy Ghost. In other words, you got to walk out of here now a uh, different. I need you to eat this food here. I need you to eat this understanding that now I'm going to walk like God. I'm going to talk like God. Not because I'm a big G, but I'm going to imitate the big G. I'm going to mimic what he says. 
I'm going to mimic what he does. <laughs> so therefore, I'm going to speak to the mountain. I ain't going to go dig around the mountain. I'm going to speak to the mountain and command it to be cast into the sea. And I'm not going to doubt in my heart because who? I'm like God. Oh, God, help me, Holy Ghost. And so I need you to understand now. You, you, you got to get this. Are we not supposed to be sons of God? The gospel of John, to many as who believe, to them he gave power to become what? Sons of God. Romans 8 says those who are led by the spirit are what? Sons of God. Now I'm just reading in this scripture now. To say that you are a son of God is to claim that you are what? Equal. God help me hold him. He he says this now in John 10. He says now uh, of John 10 and, and, and verse 31 says, Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. And Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed thee uh, uh, from my father. <laughs> For which of these works do you uh, uh, stone me? And the Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not. But for blasphemy, cause thou, because thou being a man, maketh thyself God. Hold on. Hold on. Now, Jesus is God. We know that. But he didn't, he didn't directly say it right here. He just said he was what? God was his father. And if God is his father, he's God's son. And the Jews understood that well, then you saying you are God. You God. He, he says, you're making that self God. And Jesus answers, is it not written in your law that ye are gods? In your law. In Psalm 82, he says, you are gods. That's about verse 6. But verse 7 says, but you die like men. <laughs> he says, if he, did, if, he did, if, if he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. Cannot. Say ye of him who the father has sanctified and sent into the word, thou blaspheme, because I said I'm the son of God. See, you got to understand this. When he gives you the power to become sons of God, what does that mean? That his DNA is in you. God, help me, Holy Ghost. Vince Carter ain't the only one that's half man, half amazing. I need you to understand because of who your father is, you're half man, you're, or you're all man, all God. Because his spirit, what? Dwells in you. Now, some people are going to say, man, that's crazy. That's blaspheming. Uh, I'm just, help me to understand. If I make two dogs, right? And let's say one's a cocker spaniel or one's a poodle. Is the dog no longer a poodle? Is it no longer a cocker spaniel? It's both. It's the new creation. <laughs> it, it's what? It's a new creation. And so we give it another name. Come on now. <laughs> uh, I'm not making sense to you. <laughs> uh, we give it another name. No, it's, it's called a cockapoo. 
And you see many different breeds like that. And they call, but it's a new creation. And, and it still got poodle. And it still got the cocker spaniel. You still got man, but you now you got God. God help me. You are a new creation. All things are passed away. And behold, all things have become new. God help me, Holy Ghost. Now you got the DNA of the Father on the inside of you. And so now you got the power in you, the power to, to walk it how you talk it. Now here it is. You got the power now, not just to say it, but you got the power now to do it. God help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, he gives you power and authority. He gives you authority and, and power. He gives you exousia and dunamis over all the powers of the enemy. Uh, power to cast down devils. Uh, power to lay hand on the sick and see them recover. Come on. He gave you power, authority over all sickness and disease. Cause you got, you got God DNA on the inside of you, but you won't walk in that level if you don't get the word what in you. And you got to get this word in you. David said, "Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you." I need you when you get the word in you and it starts producing and you start walking in the truth. God, people can't help but see it. God, people can't help but it, by experience. I know God with you. <laughs> Come on, that's Laban telling Jacob that I need you to understand by experience. Come on now, uh, 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 Abimelech knew that God was with Abraham and, and they knew that he was with Isaac because they knew by what experience. Experience. Uh, Isaac sold in a time of famine and reached a hundred, still reaped a hundredfold. Come on now. When everybody else had wells that were going dry, his every well he dug, he dug produced. God help me, Holy Ghost. So now we, our talk change. Am I making sense? Huh? When I know you're getting the word, your talk change. You're not walking around. Oh, what was me? Gloom, despair, agony on me. He says a bad, excessive misery. You, you ain't talking like that. You, you're not saying God is good just to say it, but, but you, you're saying God is good because I see it. With my eyes, I see and perceive. Come on. With my ears, I hear and understand that the Lord is good and his, his mercy endures forever. From generation to generation, God is good and his mercy endures forever. We're in a different place. It's time, thanks God. But it doesn't work if you don't walk in faith. You can't get this word and just, oh, I heard it. No, you got to hide it in your heart. You got you to gotta cover it of the soil in your heart so that it'll produce for you. Some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. Understanding that, yes, this word is going to try you. Yeah. But if you got enough root, you'll be able to stand the test of time. You'll be able to stand the pressure that it takes to get off the ground. You'll be able to understand that you got enough in you to go to another level. Because <laughs> you still got to break out of the atmosphere. Yeah, you off the ground, but you you still in un, under gravitational pull. Come on. Come on. Gravity is still contrary to the will of God for your life now. Why are you trying to take off? Amen. Everything around you is still trying to do what? Pull you back down. Come on. Am I making sense? Come on. That's why some, some months you have a good month. And the next thing you know, the next month coming, they want to try to do what? Pull you back down. Why? Because they want you to get to talk negative. God help me hold. They want you to speak against what God is saying. They want you to speak against what God is doing. They why? They want the negative uh, uh, of the gravity to cause you to speak so he could do what? Pull you back down. But Job said, though he slaked me, yet would I trust him. 
Come on, somebody else said, come on now, I'm more than a conqueror. Come on, somebody else said, I am an overcomer. Some, come, I'm not making sense. Somebody else said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Come, come on, am I making sense? Though, 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 though the winds are contrary, it can't stop God's purpose. Not for you. Not, not, not for you. It can't stop me. Because I believe. And more specifically, I believe. 